How you doing there, Churl? You want to do a video with him? Sure, why not? Well, you do the talking. I don't the voice. Well, Churl got this, uh, what would you call that, Churl? A little uh, diesel heater. Diesel heater. To go on his boat. Chinese diesel heater. Chinese diesel heater. So we're going to hook that up now on his boat. But the first thing he's got to do is uh, kind of lift it off the floor a bit because the exhaust hose comes out of one of these and air intake is another one. Yeah. So you can't just lay this right on the floor. So you built a little... Built a bracket. Built a little bracket there to lift it up on there. Yeah. Out of aluminum, one eighth aluminum and bend it to make a bracket. Now he's putting some homemade rubber gaskets on there to keep it from uh, vibrating too much. Oh yeah, so all you got to do is tip it up and... Uh, you got four of them on. I think that's it. So. Down here. A lot of precision. I tell you, buddy. Oh, buddy, no. just like coupling the International Space Station. So this, is the, this is the intake. Yes. This is the that comes out. So you attach your holes in underneath here. The muffler and the uh, other part. Your electrical plugs in here. And basically, if you just hook all that up and hook the gas tank up. The thing should start. Right? What's that? It's all, it's all got plugs. It's oh, just yeah. plug and right plug now. and play. Cool. Good. Yeah. But I needed something. I was going to get a couple of pieces of plant board wood to put in on it, but then I thought it's a heater, you know. Yeah, right. So I went and bought a couple of pieces of aluminum plate, one eighth, five inches by eight. Yeah. Bent it. And now we have a a nice substantial bracket sitting on it. So it's going to go in under the seat. But this is a uh, par day, I guess you could say. Preliminary work. Preliminary work. Yeah, that's good, Joe. It's going to be all right. So when you go to do yours, you won't have to uh, <laughs> figure out so much. Yeah. But that's okay. I don't mind being the brains of the operation. <laughs> <laughs> it's about uh, a bit of slob ice in the bay here, but it's about seven degrees. All our snow is gone. And uh, we got the gear here. Remember, we just put the stand on. This is our diesel heater. Yes, sir. From China. Come a long way to bring you heat. Yep, make me warm. This is where it's gonna get installed. So you gotta snake your exhaust up. I showed you the brackets, right? There, yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. Before, right? yeah. Yeah. This is probably a uh, couple of weeks or three or four weeks since we put the brackets on because we were waiting for a couple of parts to come in and wait for the weather to warm up a little bit. Basically, the unit is gonna sit right there like that. So he's going to drill a hole through that back wall right there. That's what he's got. Uh, is that the right end you need? Yeah. That'll come through and join up to the exhaust, which will join up to the uh, heater. Huh? I've got to figure out how much extra I got, if any. Yes. So I gotta hook it, I'm gonna hook it on right there. Yeah, that's a good idea. Hook it on right here, see what you got. This is the exhaust. That's on the outside of your boat. Yeah. You gotta dry fit everything first, make sure it's all for sure. long enough for. Yeah, you might have to pull your engine your uh, heater back an inch or two or yeah. the head, depending on how much you need out there. Yeah, you kinda gotta size it up first before connect anything. There's a little turn up on this. Yes. So if I put the like that, try to give water got in there and I'll put a turn on this here, go down into it. See? Well you want some decos inside, is it? This is inside. Oh yeah. okay yeah. 
Yeah, see, there's rubber seal. I here. see what you're saying, yeah. So you go up there like that. Put like that. a little, uh. And a little, be a little bit of, uh. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah. Put a little bit, of, I gotta make a, make a bit of a turn on this up here. They gotta, kind of gotta fit this first. Make sure there's line up and it works properly. Yeah. Distribution. Is that big, is it? Yep. Harbor Master Cliff came hey, to visit. You're going to be on video crazy. now. Well, uh, You're going all over the world now, buddy. Is that right? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, all over the world. Oh, that's good. New Zealand, Netherlands, everywhere. Oh, that's <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah. yeah, that would have been five, but I think you're inside a box in there that that uh, yeah, yeah. you don't come out any glass right there, so. Pole number two. Oh, no. Only a bit of fiberglass. Oh yeah, now I can see the light. That's a good spot, Gerald. Gerald emerges back out of the uh, cellar. He didn't go back in, so. <laughs> Not yet, anyway. So that's where we got the hole here. There's a rubber, uh, let me see, it's like a rubber gasket outside. Rubber gasket outside. And then it comes in here to the lazarette. And there's a rubber gasket inside. And the little drill got a little tip up for it, so water came in there. It will pour back out. And then that goes on and through to the heater. Which is right down there. Water starts coming here, you'll know. There somewhere. I can't get my head down far enough. It's too dark. Oh, yes, I see where you are right now. Yeah. Oh. My goodness, old knees. You can't get down there, you're too fat. <laughs> you're too skinny. <laughs> My skinny is going to come in handy now. <laughs> you lost a little bit of weight over the last few months. That was working to your advantage. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, you just poke the holes down, or sure you'd, you'd have an easier time. Yeah. Here, let me poke the holes down. You can, I, can, I can just poke this, take this one off here. Uh, okay. well, well, it's going to be easier to poke down than poking up. Is it? Oh, you got to get right in there. Yeah, you poke them down, you need to be able to hunt. You should be able to hunt. Oh, that's, that's sort of going down below. Oh. I leave it up there, if I could. You had putting all together, didn't you? You hooked it in down there, see? Put this in down, and after you get that out, Cut that off and redo it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Sometimes I start. Yeah. Where'd you put the holes in? Either, either in the top. That's real. I don't see a hole here anywhere, buddy. Oh, where that foam is. Oh, I see them. I see them. Okay. I'm going to have to move all this stuff and take it out. Okay, there you go. Now, should be able to get in there now. That's the other end, so. Yeah. Yeah. See that leg. See in there? Oh, yes, I see him. Yeah. Do you good reach now? You hook him with something? Or oh, yeah. You may better get in there. Oh, yes, I got I gave you that, you're more flexible than me. I'm not very flexible, I don't know why. I'm sticking on the poker. I've been in places on this boat where I wondered if I'm ever coming out. <laughs> You got him? See, look, I always came Feels out. Feels like I'm fishing here. He must have came out because I'm here. Come on, Gerald, Gerald, Gerald. You got him? You got him? I got him. Oh, pull on them. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Right. You yep. have to reach inside. There you go. Oh, you, can go you can pull away there now. Yeah, that's there you go. 
So that's what we got it's right here. It's probably not a good hose anyway, good quality hose. But, uh, I don't seem like there's much to do with it. This is a maple plant, a Newfoundland plant. He should be working for NASA on my son. There's an arrow, arrow on this. Mm -hmm. Tells you which side is on. That's important. It is. Mm -hmm. Trying to pump it right away, do you like? That's so they got plugs on. Yeah, so where do they go? They plug in. One's going to the fuel pump. The other one goes oh, to the thermostat. Okay. Switch. So that's all you need to go into the battery is white one? Oh, red one. Red one. Right. I'm going to put that one back there, but I'm just going to hook it oh, up. Oh, just hook it up and get it working. Yeah. Just to get it working. Then I'll sort it all out. Now she's... It's going to restart, yeah. So I figured that much out. <laughs> well, you got it. You got it roughed in and uh, yeah. working. I basically... Kind of working. Well, Drill, even though there's still a little bit of ice slab around, there's been a big change in the weather. Yeah, and right. I expect we'll be sailing soon. Any day at all. Yeah. Seven, as soon as this slab ice gets in, Drill. Seven degrees today. Yeah. So that's good. Well, that's warm enough. You get a bit of sunshine now on top of this. For sure. Not too bad. And you got your heater all hooked up there now. A couple little fire, uh, they say details to work out your hose, but for the most part, it's just okay. it's in place and working good. So what do you think? You think it's all, uh, what's your total synopsis now on your uh, on your new Chinese heater? Too early. Sorry. Yeah, okay. That'll work. Yeah. I got enough there for that. Mm. Just take her apart there. Up That's like a thermostat, isn't it? Yeah. 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 That'll be a good place, actually. So you're placing the gas line with a better hose, eh? That yeah. last one was a bit flimsy, huh? More quality. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's a real gas line. Yeah. Well, I see smoke coming out of there now, so. Yeah. See that fast in there, so it must be that one. Yeah, it's starting to get warm. Warm enough. That's roughly. Oh, yeah, it's warm there now. Yeah, pipe's hot too, yeah. I don't know, you know, what it's rated for. Yeah. But maybe it's fine, right? There's tin file inside, see? Yeah, I guess it's made for it. Should be alright. There's nice and warm there now. It's nice heat coming out of it. Out. There's, a, There's nice heat, yeah. Yeah, I'm watching your step there now. I'll put this chair back there now. But, uh... So all that video was from the winter when you were hooking it up. This is spring here now. And you've had a few months of using it. So give us a go through now how you got it installed and what you think of it so far. Well, this is the main unit down here, the little diesel heater. I put it in under here and we went out through the back Lazarette, right out yeah, through there, with the exhaust pipe. Let's have a look at that. Goes right on. We'll come right out here and have a look at that. So the exhaust comes out through here, comes out through there, and it goes up through there. Oh, yeah. And uh, you had to get an extra piece of pipe for that too, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah that's right so that's the exhaust there. Yeah, cool. Good. Yeah. The other end of things, the heat comes down through the floor. It's down through the floor there. This is a heating duct. So instead of using the uh, flex holes that came with the uh, diesel heater, I bought three inch ductwork like you'd use for a dryer because I figured it'd be a lot more solid. 
and I came through here in order to get down to the lowest point in the in the boat, which is down here. So that pipe comes out through here. Got it? Yeah, got it, yeah. Yeah, same pipe. And the heat comes out through right here. Start there, but yeah. yeah, so I got I got okay. got the register there, so that comes out on this level. Yeah, and that heats up all this part of the boat down at the lower point. And of course, it rises, yeah. so everything gets heated. After so that. that's how I installed the diesel heater. I'll show you where the controls are. Now. Did you use? Uh, you didn't. You hooked it up directly to your diesel tank, right? What you do is just splice right to the line. I can't remember now. It's been so I long. Was off. I hooked it right up to my gas line. Yeah. Well, you put a T in it or something? Yeah. I got a T right here oh, in the fuel line. Right. And I upgraded my hose. I didn't use the hose that came with the diesel heater. It's just a pretty skimpy little hose. Yeah. So I bought a regular gas line and ran it right up to the uh, pump. So that's just your main line in. You just teed right into it. Yeah. yeah. So now everything that goes into the diesel heater comes through my... Uh, Main filter, so I'm not dependent on that little. Yeah, and no extra tanks. No extra tanks. Nothing like that. Put this back on. And you got your uh, thermostat on the wall right here. You got the thermostat on the wall right there. Wired into your batteries, which are on there right there. So you just turn it off and on right there? I can turn it off and on right, right here the on the remote. Or I can just pull the button there. And in she cuts. Good. Start heating. That's what she says every time. <laughs> She's so smart. <laughs> so what do you think of it all now after using it all winter? What do you think? Well, I've used it. Yeah. It heats up the boat in about, I'd say, 10 minutes. Yeah. In colder weather. That's fine. And then I turn it down on low. Yeah. And that's pretty much it. Cool. So overall happy with it? I'm happy with it, yeah. I mean, it wasn't that expensive, but now you had to buy a few extra things. Yeah, some of the stuff that comes with it, some of the gear, like the, the gas line is pretty pathetic. Yeah. And uh, the little filter that comes with it, not that great either. So overall, how much do you think it costs? We won't let Linda know this. She don't watch uh, this anyway, does she? No. I... Uh, <laughs> Roughly. Well, the unit was 169. Yeah. I say I'd spend a good 50, 60 dollars extra on parts. Yeah, that's not bad. So for less yeah. than 300 dollars, for sure. Well, less than 300 dollars. You got it yeah. on. You got a good system put in. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I must say, I'm very pleased with it. Well, that's good. Yep. Thanks. All right. So that's uh, that's the uh, diesel heater. That's the diesel heater. So thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, it's the first video now for a while. Actually, it's been a few months since I put one up. So Yeah, it's been a rough winter yeah. around here. <laughs> for sure. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Cheers.